the Blood Bowl channel is happy to bring you this match, which if lives up to expectations, should be a real humdinger, shouldn't it, Jim? Hi, Bob. Hi, everyone. My answer would be like every Blood Bowl match. Blood, sweat, tears, a bull, apothecaries on standby. What more can you ask for? There's such a difference between the level of the two teams. You've got to be slightly wild. He didn't react fast enough there. No. To be effective, you've got to get your retaliation in first. Get <laughs> this in fans. That first touchdown means that the teams won't be settling for a boring nil-nil draw. And they're off! Brilliant pass! As you say, good job! Down and quite stunned, apparently. Oh, if you slapped in the face, and anybody can wake up instantly. It's a catch! Now this player just needs to survive! Oh! Funny how his head went one way and the body the other. Oh, lasting job. Poetry in motion. What we'd like to see more often. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. You can't say much about that. Full blooded but perfectly legal. What a mean hit. As you say, it is pure art. Go back home now. has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. They can start to move forward. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. The morgue will be doing overtime after this match. Not the city match, though. It'll be the usual justifiable homicide. Yes, if the opposition hadn't got him, the fans would. Do you remember Eldril Sidewalk? Oh, of course. He's the only elf freelance who offers his service to every elven race. Oh, he's a strange one. Rumor has it that he's mutated. Stranger still. Ouch! Oh, he's knocked him senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. Ouch! Right in the face! The other guy couldn't dodge that one. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Oh, has this player got two left hands? Oh, what? I doubt he'd be taking any further part in the match after that. No, no, he's still got two legs. I can tell you straight, that hurts. Okay, it's half time. No doubt the players will be grateful for a rest. And the supporters glad for the opportunity to rebuild their stocks of missile. Wow, 
I didn't see that one coming. Hey, I nor did the player, or he would have ducked. I bet those Yetis don't like playing the dungeon ball, Bob. That's right, Jim. Some Norse teams downright refuse to play in that town, claiming it to be inhumane. That's strange, Bob. Didn't figure any Norse team to be humane. Yep, upside down. That's one way to look at things. That player's gonna wake up with a serious headache. The player gets hold of the ball! That pass would have done justice to a dwarf with mittens. Why do you always insult the dwarves? Clean take up there. Nothing to say. And I don't have any remark to add, my friend. Just look at the way his feet and hands are twitching. The punch is still echoing round his body. <laughs> pit fighter who fought well could be saved from death by a thumbs up from the pit punch. No such luck for that player, though. <laughs> Here we go again for another bloodbath. The attack can get their game going again. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. A mouthful of knuckle and then a mouthful of dirt. Yeah, he went down face first. <laughs> Reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitman. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. Nice left punch. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Ah, no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. Ouch! Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Fine. There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent, it's short conversation. Yes! Touchdown in the closing minutes of the match. We paid good money to be here, so we should be entertained right to the final whistle. Tim, you pay nothing. You're even paid to watch. You know what I mean. They can start to move forward. Ouch! Oh, he's knocked them senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. There's no shame in losing. I'm disappointed to go down by such a close margin. They did their best, but their best just wasn't good enough. Victim written on their faces as they traipsied out onto the pitch. Now some of them have it scraped into their backs. There can be no excuses, no balls, no victory. I'm not sure that that comment will come across as you meant it to sound. Um, <laughs> even with the best player on the pitch, they managed to lose. Imagine what the score would have been if he wasn't there. Not a very adventurous lot. They spent most of the match in their own half. 
everybody clean. It can't be. They must have come up with an undetectable doping substance. I hope so. Otherwise, we're in for a dull match. Funny how you get some refs who just can't let a match flow and others who just take a back seat. Discreet, to say the least. But their discretion is the better part of that.